Greetings, everyone. Sometimes things happen in your life that just breaks you. And you can never be the same again. It brings you to your knees. And you're so broken. And sometimes you don't even want to think about a God. You just can't understand why God would allow such a thing to happen to you. And as you hurt, as you grieve, as you're crying and feel like you're dying, you know, you feel there's no coming back from this. It's over. And you might be saying to yourself, I don't care one way or the other. You might go to your bed and you say to yourself, I don't care if tomorrow is not a, another day. I get it. And while I can't promise you that things will go back to normal, I'm going to say that sometimes that experience, as horrible as it is, will bring you to a new day. The hurt is so deep that you'll never get over it, but you learn how to live with it. Sometimes when you're going through these things, you don't want to see anybody. You just want to be alone by yourself. That is okay. Because sometimes when you're at that place, people say all the wrong things. In them trying to feel the silence, in them trying to make you feel better, their intention is pure. But sometimes they can do more harm than good. If you feel the need to remove yourself and to be by yourself and to really spend time in your own grief, don't let anyone tell you what that should look like or how long it should remain. Just give yourself permission. Give yourself permission to ask the questions and to cry and to cry, ugly cry too, or to yell or to scream or whatever is, in, is important to you, whatever is necessary. This is why you have to try to find a way to find a balance that helps you understand the meaning of life. Because if you go off what people say, when you hear other person have, you know, terrible situations in their life and they say, God is so good and look what God done for me and all that, that can be an irritant to somebody who's going through the same things. And you'll ask the question, well, why did God save you or yours? Or why, you know, did your prayers get answered and mine didn't? It's not a nice feeling and no one wants to hear that when you're grieving. And so I want to say to everybody who have lost something important to you, who feel like your heart is ripping out, who feel like you got abandoned by, you know, people or the creator. Um, everything always has meaning. And every painful situation we go through in life really prepares us for another thing. And you don't always get to understand that in the beginning. You have to go through it. You have to feel whatever it is you feel. You say whatever you want to say. And if isolation is what works for you, then take that time. Take that time. But healing will come. And it looks different for different people. And so if you feel angry, if you question your reality, that is normal. That is okay. Don't let anyone tell you how you're supposed to grieve and how you're supposed to feel. And if you feel like question, questioning your creator, you go right ahead. Because until someone walk in your shoe, they can't tell you how you're supposed to be. Until you're feeling the agony and the pain of loss, you have no idea what that's like. So, if you're with someone who's grieving or going through any heartache or whatever it is they're feeling or suffering uh, through, 
sometimes it's okay just to be quiet. Sometimes all they need is silence. You don't have to fill the voice and feel like Say you have a whole to bunch of stuff. Sometimes they just don't want to hear. Sometimes we don't want to hear. Stay blessed.